Fellow Spartans, welcome back to part three of this Galatian Let's Play for Total War Room 2. So, we continue where we left off. We were on the offensive, we pushed the Seleucids back out of Massica, and now we we're on the, you know, the offensive here to try and take Tarsus. Uh, the tiny little city of Tarsus, how beautiful, look how tiny and cute it looks, it really is a lovely little city. And hopefully we can try and ransack it and raise it at some point, but... Um, Hopefully we can do that next uh, next term, but I'm slightly concerned. I'm thinking, obviously, with the Seleucids, they have got some settlements around here. Look at that; they've got a lot of settlements actually in this area of the map. So they will no doubt try and bring a large army across. I think to try and defend the city, as they know this threat is coming. So we'll see what happens during the end turn phase. Now we are at war with Media over here, which are too far away to worry about at the moment. The Seleucids, obviously and Sardis. Um, so, I mean, we're, so far we're doing okay. We've, we're doing what, with what I wanted to do, which is to secure this area, the, the land, and then from there push out in the west and east, eastern directions. But um, ideally as well, we need to sort out, sort out our reliability rating with our diplomacy. It's untrustworthy at the moment. And a lot of people have mentioned that the way I handle that isn't the best at the moment. I'm a bit rash. So hopefully this episode I can start to you know, get my reliability rating back up a little bit and ensure that going forward I can start to deal with some of the factions who are friendly with me, start to get trade with them, get non-aggression packs with them, start to get them to try and, you know, lean towards going to war with these factions that I'm at war with as well at the same time. So try and get them to help me out at some point because I no doubt need it at the moment, most definitely, especially with the Seleucids. Can I actually offer peace? Would they actually take peace? Because... I'm very concerned with the Seleucids, actually. No, low. Damn. Because I'm concerned with what the Seleucids are going to bring up from the from the south, actually. Very concerned. Well, we'll see what happens. Um, I need to recruit into this army. The Galatian Swords, definitely. Some Levy Freeman as well, because I'm, I want to sort of manage that settlement and get that up. We need to start looking at probably recruiting or building a better... Uh, agricultural land of probably the, maybe the field building because then we can get some more food for the um, food surplus because we don't want that to go down and we'll, we'll take it from there so let's continue end the turn see what happens we can't we need to push out that rebellion as well in the north and as we thought look at that oh thank you very much Pontus you've destroyed that rebellion lovely and as we thought the Seleucids have pushed out now and have taken a large army to uh, Tarsus and they've also got Another army on the move, which isn't good, is it? Oh, a feast. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's bring our spy down. See if they can poison the provisions of this army at Tarsus, because I think they'll try and attack me next turn. Oh, no. Seriously, no. Well, we'll bring this army back to side because we cannot defend so we cannot fight that army there it's too much too much to take on um, god this is getting tricky very very quickly actually oh god right let's recruit another general actually another general unit to uh, try and help because I'm sure they're gonna try and attack us next turn we'll go for that one actually yeah um, yeah, we'll go for that one. Raise an army. We should go for what about noble horse? Or noble we'll go for noble horse. Yeah, we'll go for noble horse. And we shall recruit some mercenaries, because I know what's coming. I just know they're gonna try and uh, fight me here. Yeah, you've got that feeling about it, so let's upgrade them. Recruit some Cappadocian cavalry. Well, mm, yeah, it's fine with any ones I can really want to want to go for. Really, we'll bring this general down to Iconium because I think Ankara is okay in the north. We aren't at war with anyone down up there, so uh, we start defending this frontier this way over here. So, uh, okay, guys, let's end the turn again and see what the Solaces do. I don't think it's going to be very good. Here we go. Ah, uh, yeah, as we thought. 
Battle deployment. Ah, it is in our favour. Right, okay, let's fight this one. It's not enough in our favour to auto-resolve it. Let's hope to God we can do something here. They've got mercenary Indian elephants as well. Christ. But they've got Hillman, which are pretty poor. Eastern Spearmen. They won't, they won't put up too much of a fight. It's how, it's how we manage it. It's how we manage it. So they're going to come all the way from that front. Oh, no, they're going this way. Turn around. Right, so they're going to bring all the forces in this front row here. So, the Freeman. You are free today. You will stay free, men. After this battle as well. Let's bring the Galatians to go around the sides. The oh god, the noble horse are over there, and the bloody reinforcements, of course. Damn! Right, we're getting the Cappadocian cavalry down that way. Okay, this is all we can do. This is all we can do. Hope to God we can do enough. Right. Cavalry, get your backside over here now. I need to select you. Come on, I need you now. Thank you. Our reinforcements have arrived. Ah, they're going to try and go down this way. Are oh, they clever? They're not going to try and take the bait of going all down this front way here. They're going to try and uh, flank me that way. Are they then? Right. Cappadocian Cavalry. It's just so satisfying when he says that. Misery Cappadocian Cavalry. Bring them around here. Bring them, bring them, bring them around. Oh god, where are they moving the elephants? Um... Not doing anything with them yet. Our hidden units have been discovered. They're always discovered. Hillmen are coming in for a charge. Two units of Hillmen. We've got a unit, another unit of Hillmen going on the right side there. With the elephants are starting to move around. Go around that side, noble horse, please. Go for them. Light cavalry shouldn't take uh, too much to bring down. Okay, come around this way, please. Oh, God. Spider Man, come on. Oh, they are dropping well, though. This is good. Go for a charge from the back here, then. Oh, no, they're not dropping yet. Well, we'll, we'll deal with them in a second, that light calf. Come on, hold out. Noble horse are coming now. One of our units has used all the stand, stand. Hillman are retreating back. Mercy Wonderful. Russian. Go for the Royal Paltas. Go for it. Take the general down. We've got a massive chance of winning this battle. Come on! Hold the line! Here come the elephants. Cavalry, come on! Now! Now, 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 go for a charge in the back of those Eastern Spearmen. Take them down. Celts. In go the Celts. They are going in the Spearmen. Slingers, Slingers hit that elephant unit. Go for him. Bring them down. Bring them down. Here come the Noble Horse. Go for it. Just go for it, go for it, go for it. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Actually, we're holding well here. This Cavalry and Cavalry are doing a fantastic job as well as as always they do. Noble Horse are engaging now. God, they're absolutely knackered though. Right, let's push out again a second. Let's just deal with let's deal with the um, 
the Salingas over here, the artillery. Come on! Right, get out of there, they're not doing anything against them, so push against these spearmen in the back. That's causing them to waver, excellent. Oh Christ, who's wavering? We cannot allow any breaks in this line. Right, come out of there, because you're not going to be able to do anything against them. Right, go for a charge back. Noble ha Riders, come back, come back, come back. Come back. Where are the Cappadocians? Oh, Christ. My God, this is ridiculous. Push forward. Oh, they're that tired. They're that tired. They really are having to hold out forever, these noble riders, because they've obviously ridden across the whole of the battlefield. Come on! Oh, don't bloody tell me that one. Don't bloody tell me that. Right, come out, Noble Riders. Come out, come out, come out. Right, you push around this side. Bless them, they're absolutely shattered. Get the Slingers to hit those pikes. Come on. Don't tell me that, Mark Strong. I don't need to know about that now. Cappadocians come around the right flank there. Push on, push on. Where the hell's my bloody noble riders? They're over here. Get out of there. Don't get involved with those power tasks, whatever you do. Come on! Kill them all! Get out of there, go over there, go on the right side, and we'll push out again in a second. Yeah, you keep keep you keep teasing those pikemen. Looks like they're gonna go charge in, in the rear, are they? We'll see what they do, and then we may charge our mercenaries, uh, sorry, our skirmishers against them. Go over this way, go over this way. Push these back over here to try and form a bit further in the town centre. Come on, Cavs. Group two to group two because they're not uh, grouped at the moment. Do not get involved with those mercenary pal those sorry, those uh, royal paltas. They are just the hardest one of the hardest units on the bloody game. Get around them. Go around them for God's sake. Come on. Jesus Christ. Right, go for a charge in the back of these. Levy Pikemen. Alright, take the Slingers down. Come on. Here come the Royal, Royal Paltas again. So out we go. Out we go. Oh, they're absolutely shattered. Bless them. Bless them. It's war. F find a way. Oh, Mark Strong knows. No, Mark, no. Yeah, Mark, no. Oh, my God, Mark Strong knows. There's a way. I can't get me bloody words out today. And that rhymes, bless you. Wow. All right, line up again. It's the mercenary, sorry, the, I keep saying mercenary, I don't know why, it's, I mean the Royal Paltas, because I'm thinking you always can get Paltas as mercenaries, can't you? But no, it's the Royal Paltas that are going to be the, the problem, the real strong point for the solutions. I must apologise if my commentary is not the best today, it's because I'm not, not being very well last night, so if I'm getting my words mumbled up and everything, it's because I'm not feeling 100%, so uh, that's my excuse, guys. <laughs> Hopefully it's still all right for you, though. Right, push on, push on, push on. 
His Royal Palatas will not go down without a fight. Get the Slingers, uh, the range units to fire, up, fire on them. So bring them down, bring them round. God, they're so tired. The infantry can keep up with them. It's that bad for the, the cavalry at the moment. But the Cappadocian cavalry are just amazing. They've done a great job. They really have. Why are these slingers? Are they still firing on them? They are. God, there's one, one unit, one man has fallen so far against them. Oh my God, you wouldn't believe it. These Paltas, Jesus Christ. That is ridiculous. What? One man? One man survives! And he's now given up. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Right. Okay. Let's go try and get behind them then. Are they retreating? They are. So we've only got the Royal Partas left now. We've got to deal with them. They are wavering. Not wavering, but they're broken. We say that. Well, they're broken. Might charge them in the back then. With our infantry and then get them to be teased with ah that's it go right go 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 go. Right, surround the gits. Right, you can start firing. Whatever you do, start firing now. And they are wavering. Wonderful. It's all over. Victory. Wow. Let's continue just to try and bring the uh, the general down. What a battle! And it was not an easy one. I probably should have already resolved thinking about it, but uh, at least I know we've won the battle and we've driven them back. But they'll probably try and attack me again with that other army that's now sitting outside of Tarsus as well, or just outside of the city. Any general units been got out of there? I think they're all dead. Yeah, they've all been surrounded. Right, let's end the battle there. Quit it now. Clo costly victory. Yes, you could say that. Whoa. We lost half our men, but they lost nearly all of theirs. Just what, what 200 left? Yeah, just under 200 left of theirs. So, wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was epic. I enjoyed that battle, even though it was his most tense, one of the most tense battles I've had. It was a fantastic battle, nevertheless. So we need to replenish at massacres as quick as, as quick as we can. Kill the captures, obviously. Oh, our general has fallen, of course, hasn't he? Yeah. We'll just recruit another one next turn. So they have set set themselves tight at Tarsus. They haven't moved out with that army, but they probably will next turn animal death for our general well done he did fight beautifully on the battlefield advanced saddle has been researched increasing rank for our general and and tell you what you need to replenish as soon as you can um go for that go for that one let's just push this and get rid of these guys before they uh, regroup if it's aggressive stance. They've been pushed back. Heal them off. Bring them back into the settlement. I've got most traditions as well. God, my words today, terrible. Oh, that could be good. Stalwart defenders. We could do with them, actually, yeah. I think that could be the... Oh, uh, oh no, that's during night battles, things like that. Oh, that's good as well, that's good as well. 5% damage inflicted by all melee units. We'll go for that one, actually. Go for that one, it gives us the 5% uh, extra damage we need. Now we're going to bring this army across. 
because I just know they're going to try and fight me again. So let's raise another general here to hold the defence of Massacre. I'll give another unit of Noble Horse. They are good. They are very good. And see what happens. God, they're going to have to be. Um, hopefully, it gives them. Will give us. You know, hopefully, the solutions I should say will give us enough time to uh, replenish. Probably they won't. But uh, if we can hold off for a while, we should we'll give us a better chance. I'm going to bring this army back into uh, Tarsus, try and uh, tease them out to go against them, which will then hopefully give us more time to replenish up there. <laughs> I need to think about what I'm going to do here now. Is it military or look forward? We still go down the uh, civil technology. Um, we'll go for that one, I think. Yeah, I'll we'll go for that one. It gives us. It'll be ready in three turns, which we need. Okay. Ooh, minus five morale to the enemy. Yeah, we replace that one because it's going to obviously help us. Okay, so let's hit that end turn button and see what happens now. Oh, they're coming again! They're coming again! Oh, we've got we've got uh, still the chance of winning this one. Um. This time, I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to auto-resolve it because I think the chances of surviving this one would be, uh, I think, uh, better if we do auto-resolve it. So let's do that close victory, aggressive stance. Oh, is this going to bite me in the bum now? I don't know, will it? Do we lose anyone? We didn't lose a single unit. We've kept everyone. Kill the captives. They've pushed back. So, what do we do now? What do we do now? Because... Oh, right, yeah. We create a champion. We will have to do that at some point. Where's our spy? I don't think he's recovered yet. Has he, our spy? Oh, he has. He has. He has. Where is he? He's here. Excellent. Great time to recover. Come on, poison him. Please work. Please work. Yes! Great. Ready for orders. Well done. But because you are a male, I will not bed you in any way. That is impossible. Unless, unlike my female counterparts, you will not be bedded by me under any circumstances. And we, yes, this is excellent. That spy has done the trick there. Alright, come on, finish them off this time. Finish them off. Anyone died again? No, they're still intact. And they've fallen. Yes, this is good. This is very, very, very good. Better than I thought it would be. I do they now? Now what they got? What have they got at Tarsus? They've got nine units. Call me crazy. I'm gonna go for a. I'm gonna go for a siege here, at Tarsus. We'll encircle them, and we'll bring them down to fight. And now we've got a chance, a much better chance. Okay, guys, I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna wrap up part three here. I can't take any more. I'm feeling a bit ropey now, actually, after this recording. So I'm going to go and lie down and have a bit of a rest. But I hope you've enjoyed part three. Nevertheless, you always remember to comment, rate, subscribe. Put me up on Twitter, Facebook, and Steam. And we'll be back for episode four with the Battle of Tarsus. And hopefully then we can start to push them back uh, south into their lands in, uh, in sort of... Uh, 
Asia and uh, you know sort of Armenia that way sort of thing. So hopefully then once we've done that, we can be the uh, the aggressor and be on the front foot. But, uh, thank you for watching. It's been a bit of a nerve wracking episode, but until next time, this is Warrior Sparta for now. Saying farewell.